Feeding pong fish the right temperature for fish food. Did you know that the temperature that we feed our fish plays a crucial role in their overall health and well-being? Hello fellow pond enthusiasts. Today we're diving into an essential topic that often gets unnoticed and that's the temperature of the water and the types of fish food that you should be feeding your beloved pets. The first step is to ensure that we're aware of the water temperature in our pond. Next, let's talk about the temperature of fish food itself. Different types of fish food have a specific temperature requirement for the optimum nutritional absorption. As responsible pond lovers, it's our responsibility to understand what food should be fed at different temperatures. They graze all day long. They don't have a stomach. So they can't take on a large amount of food in one sitting. They have an intestine, so they need to be fed on a regular basis. When the water temperature drops down, they want to be fed less and less and less, less frequent. So when you're trying to feed the fish, think about the water temperature and how much they sh you should be feeding them. A little bit and often is much better than a whole lot at the start of the day. When feeding our fish, we should aim to match the temperature of the fish food with the water temperature. Observing the fish during feeding times can provide valuable insights into their appetite and adjusting our feeding routine accordingly. As the water temperature rises, the metabolic rate of these fish increases. They're cold-blooded animals, not like us humans that are warm-blooded animals. Today, the water temperature is about 20 degrees. That's why I've got in. It's been a lovely day. And these fish can eat plenty of food. You can react to the fish's metabolic rate. Sometimes I feel like I need to put a cricket box on if I get in the water because they can be a little bit aggressive towards me. They're not gonna hurt me. They've got teeth in the back of their throat and essentially a case of they understand what the food is. They're not pecking at me, they're not, they're eating the food. If I stop feeding them, it's like a dog or a cat. They're gonna come and ask for attention. They're gonna come and say, oi, stop talking, let's feed some fish. Feeding our fish at the optimum temperature promotes better digestion, and nutrition absorption leading to overall vitality. In warmer water, the fish have a higher metabolic rate, so they need to be fed more often. Read the back of the packaging what the specific food is designed for. Just look at these beautiful fish thriving in their well-maintained environment. To sum it up, let's make sure that we're feeding the fish the right food for the right temperature. Make sure that you get a thermometer so you know what water temperature is to stop feeding, to increase the feeding. You can feed them treats on a regular basis. You can feed them, if you think about honey and brown bread, cereals, different things. Give them a varied diet, but make sure that you feed them a staple, a premium quality fish food on a regular basis. You can't feed them cheap food continual. Yes, it might be cheaper, but for the fish's vitality, it's just like a dog, it's just like a human. If we eat cheap foods, if we eat foods that are not designed, but we love them too many times, we're going to get fat, we're going to get obese, we're going to have health issues. These fish are healthy and they absolutely adore the Aquascape fish food. You can buy this Aquascape fish food on the website. It's Water Features Shop and you can search for fish food. It's a fantastic balance. We've got cold water fish food, we've got color enhancing fish food, we've got staple fish food that you can feed them more, more, more. And we've also got koi crunches. Thanks for watching. My name's Mark, the Pond Advisor, and I'm here to support you. Dream, plan, and enjoy ponds and water features. Until next time, I'll see you in another video. I'm going to enjoy these fish for a bit longer.